Ah, nothing like that shiny new smartphone smell. You unbox it, peel off that little plastic protector, and boom, it's your new best friend. The screen sparkles, the camera's like magic, the battery lasts all day. Yep, this one's gonna last forever. Or at least until the next model drops. Just when your phone starts feeling cozy in its case, along comes that new model with a kinda better camera or a little bit faster processor. Is it revolutionary? Uh, not really. But do we buy it anyway? Uh, yeah. Tech companies make us feel like our current models obsolete faster than last week's meme. But have you ever thought about what happens to all these retired phones? There's gotta be an environmental impact, right? First, you've got the stuff your phone is made of. It's not just plastic and glass. It's basically a metallic smoothie with elements like lithium, cobalt, and gold all blended into technical perfection. But here's the twist. Mining these elements has a big environmental impact. Think carbon emissions, toxic runoff, and habitat loss. And there's a significant and often tragic human cost to these mining practices. Now, mining may have the most impact on the Earth and its inhabitants, but manufacturing is a close second. High-tech smartphone factories release thousands of tons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere every year. Then, our phones are shipped worldwide. That means more emissions before we consumers buy them. After all that, we only keep our phones for about two years before they're shoved into a drawer or tossed into a landfill where they leach chemicals into the environment. But what can we do? We gotta use our phones. I mean, okay, I guess we can rethink that upgrade. But what impact does keeping your phone for an extra six months really have? Unfortunately, if it's just you, not much. It's just a tiny drop in the bucket. If we all did it, it's a bigger drop, but it's still just a drop. A more significant change requires efforts from bigger players in the game. I'm talking to you, smartphone companies. Are you refusing to source from mining companies known for unethical and inhumane practices? Are you doing everything you can to reduce electronics waste? Listen, we know you want to keep your profit margin, but the fact is some companies are developing additional revenue streams through trading programs that lead to refurbished phone sales. Others are lowering costs on raw materials by recycling trade-in phones. These bold actions are profitable and they will help to fill our bucket towards a more sustainable future. And hey, if we individuals are expected to do our part, then certainly the leading smartphone company valued at over $3 trillion can do its part too.